Alright guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and just show a quick example of the uh, Hydro Dip Water Swirl Painting. Um, I'm actually took the cheap way out, <clears throat> just use some nail polish. Um, it actually works pretty good. Um, I didn't really take much time prepping my gas tank. Just basically took a cheesecloth, try to get it on the camera. Uh, just basically took a cheesecloth, wiped it off, taped off the two holes. And uh, that's pretty much how long I'm going to do for prep. Uh, when I am done, I'll go ahead and get an automotive clear coat and go ahead and, you know, put a gas resistant clear coat on it just to try to keep it from fading and other crap. Uh, like I said, it's a cheap $5 paint mod. So, you know, it is what it is. Just having fun. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of start the process. I got to do it kind of quick. This is a quick dry nail polish. So overall, I mean, pretty much you can pull the product out of the water, and it's pretty much dry at that point. Um, I like to take like a soft rag or something, kind of wipe away some of the water. Um, it pre prevents a couple water drops, you know, from forming on it. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, start swirling some paint. Now you could be all precise about it, but to me it kind of takes away the character. I like to just kind of throw paint in there, go see, see kind of what turns up. You kind of see it swirling. See if I get it to focus a little better. Um, like I said, you do got to be kind of quick because this will form a film layer over it. You won't be able to actually get a swirl in it. See, I already got that, that layer I was talking about. You gotta be careful for that. You gotta be a little quick. And I'm definitely not being quick on this one. Got a pretty suitable swirl there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my gas tank, just kind of hold it at an angle, and slowly dip. Now, this isn't gonna cover the bottom of the tank, obviously, but uh, I don't know how much of it it did cover. I did notice I like to kind of dip things twice, gives it more kind of a darker look. Oh, see that? Kind of came out all right. We got a big old flaw right there. I might just kind of sand that down. And like I said, I like to dip the things twice anyway, just to get a little bit cooler effect. But as you can see, that actually, besides that blob right there, which I just smeared, it come out pretty good. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and repeat the process. But there you guys go. Just quick video on how it's done.